Hello YouTube, a uh, very quick comparison between HDD rate, uh, HDD and rate 10 and SSD. Now the motherboard is a crosshair, uh, an Asus Crosshair Formula 4. The controller for the RAID is the onboard controller for the motherboard. They're all using the 6 gigabit SATA, so no bottlenecking there. And um, the hard disk is in Western Digital, um, Western Digital one terabyte uh, black edition. Four of them over here, and the SSD is a Crucial M4 uh, 128 GB model. Um, I can put up the details, the exact details, if you want. Uh, just uh, post a comment below. Um, now, RAID. What is RAID? RAID is basically a redundant array of independent disks. Uh, this is RAID 10 in specific. Um, very quick overview of RAID. Let's see if I can I can explain it. Uh, basically, a bunch of disks working as one disk. Uh, usually, people uh, initially people used it for, um, I believe, uh, data redundancy, so redundant array of independent disks. Um, but they also use it for, for performance. Now, for example, RAID 0 is used for performance, and it should have been here instead of RAID 10, but sue me. I'm a, lazy, uh, I'm a lazy guy. So I put RAID 10 instead of RAID 0. I just had the configuration, so might as well made, made the benchmark. Um, the uh, the um, advantage of having a RAID 10 over the other RAIDs is redundancy plus performance. Uh, the drawback is it's very expensive because you have a lot of redundant data means you have to buy more space to get just that amount of space you wanted. For example, four one terabyte hard disks will, will only give you two terabytes usable. Um, whereas a RAID 0, four terabytes will give you four terabytes because you're splitting the data across. With RAID 10, you are splitting data you are splitting the data to A and B, splitting it, but you're, you're also copying it. So it's safe and it's um, copied, uh, sorry, and it's split apart. So that's RAID 10. Don't want to go into de details so with RAID. Boring, boring, boring. Um, now these are the scores. Very quick. I have an analysis over here. I'm going to go here more. Uh, the scores. This is the hard disk. This is the hard disks in RAID 10. So Western Digital Black Edition 1 Terra, four of them in RAID 10, and then the Crucial M4. Just for proof, these are the scores. I've put them in an Excel sheet. Let's have a quick look. In um, uh, red means third place, um, uh, orange means second place, and uh, green means first place. So dead last is the one terabyte alone, and second is the... Um, four one terabytes in RAID 10 and first by far is a crucial M4. One discrepancy here is where the uh, one hard disk performed better than the RAID. Not very sure why. Could have been just uh, I, um, I should have um, I didn't do this three times by the way I just did it once also again because I'm lazy. You should do it three times just to make sure there is no errors. I made it once only so that's probably why the score here is a bit lower. Uh, anyways, so let's compare it very, 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 very quickly. So one hard disk versus two hard disks. Um, the uh, performance increase is 100%. See over here is the read is 100, the read here is 200. For the writes, 84%. This is for sequential. It means a bunch of data just continuously writing. So it's like a think of it as a race like this. So in a straight line race, the RAID is almost 100% um, faster. Uh, now for the sequential, sequential, uh, sorry, for the uh, random 512, it means write 512 here, then jump somewhere else, write uh, 512 here, randomly jump somewhere else, write, write uh, 512 here. So when you're thinking of hard disks, there's a mechanical part that's moving, that's uh, writing and reading. It's called seeking time, and you know there's a whole science behind it. So um, uh, imagine a mechanical piece going like, okay, I gotta go here, 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 uh, as opposed to sequential, which probably just goes, you know, in straight lines or the disk spin actually, and can stay in one spot. So it doesn't have to be so frank, uh, frantic. So in sequential, they score pretty well. Uh, they the score p uh, pretty well even compared to an SSD, see, we're here 200, 400, but in random writes, we're going to see there's a huge difference. 
So again, back to the HDD versus the RAID. Um, not much of a uh, improvement in random because still you're limited by the mechanical parts. Same for 4K. 4K is really small um, bunches. And 4K Q depth 32, also same thing, very small. So um, there was a 42, 45% and 71% increase over here. But the breeds were only like 1.5 and 2 megs. So 0.5 of a meg is like 45%. Oh my god. So not much of a difference in most of them except for the sequential. So if you want really good sequential reads and writes, go ahead with a um, RAID configuration, RAID 10 configuration. Uh, we're going to look at the pricing later if it's worth it or not. But uh, the speed uh, doubles for sequential. Now let's look at a RAID 10 to an SSD. RAID 10 to an SSD. You get 100% more again, so from 200 to 400, that's 100% more. And for the write, only 4%, because actually the RAID uh, performed very well, 200 MBs write, and the Crucial M4, almost 200 MBs again. Excuse me. Uh, for the random, oh my god, look at that, 600%. Because an SSD does not use mechanical parts that have to jump around, so there is the physical time of moving. Think of it as... Um, thought versus you doing something you thinking fa uh, some of something trying to access it in your memory is much faster than you trying to do something so an hdd has the mechanical arms it's trying to reach the data while an ssd is like a thought it's just pure circuits and it goes like okay i've reached my you know conclusion on my data it doesn't need to move, it doesn't need to do anything, it's just electronic signals. So in random, it goes like, huh, okay, the data spread apart my memory. Um, so what? I, I can access my, all my memory uh, like from one spot to another in almost the same time, uh, regardless of where they are, be it sequential or not. So the HDD, even in rate configuration, uh, uh, still struggles with the random, see, 300, uh, three, uh, 300 here and 200 here. Now for the 4K, uh, it's really small chunks, so a lot of, a lot of um, processes have to happen, and the, um, I guess the controller becomes a limit here, even for the SSD. You see, for the, um, for the uh, RAID configuration, where here is 0.6, and then the Crucial M4 is 28. So how does that translate? 4,000% in increase. Uh, increase in performance now um, for the uh, 4k q 32 it's a 10,000 percent increase oh my god because it's like from 2 MB to 247 so that's a, like a huge jump so what does that mean when you have applications uh, that use random uh, a lot of random uh, reading and writing SSD is by far by far the best option regardless of the type of hard disk you have even if you have those velociraptors and raid zero the ssd just really takes a piss on it um so now uh, this is hdd from a single hdd to ssd it can go up to fifteen thousand percent increase in performance so now let's do it very quickly i've just added up the uh, mbs over here uh, SSD scored 1700, the uh, RAID 10 scored 500 something, and then the HDD scored 300 something. Mainly the RAID scored more than the HD, uh, HDD by 200 because of the sequential reads and writes, if you remember over there. Now, relatively, the SSD is the best performing, so 100% performance relatively, uh, and the RAID is only 30% of the performance of the SSD, and the HDD is only 19% uh, the performance of the SSD. So um, if RAID is 100, uh, sorry, if SSD is 100, RAID is 30, and HDD is 90, and RAID 10, we're all speaking about RAID 10, RAID 0 performs much, 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 much better, don't forget that, um, but still not in random reads and writes. So now let's move to the pricing. The Crucial M4 is priced at $239.87 for the 128 GB model. The Western Digital 1 Tera is only $86 for 1,000 MBs against uh, 1,000 GBs against 128 GB, so that's a huge difference. And the RAID 10 configuration is just four of these, um, so multiplied by four and multiplied by two because remember it's redundant, so you copy the data twice, so you lose half the 
uh, size so from 4 to 2, uh, 2 GB now what does that mean is again the uh, overall performance and relative performance what does that mean how much am I getting how much am I paying per MB of performance how much do I pay so uh, remember these figures I paid this much for the configurations and I got this much so in comparison um, I pay 0.1 of a dollar per MB of performance so I only pay 0.1 to get them that, that performance. Um, even though the SSD is really expensive, you still um, look at the, uh, uh, even though, sorry, the, the RAID is, is really expensive, it's still the cheapest one out of the bunch. Even if it's $230 against $86, it's still the cheapest one if you're looking for performance. By far the cheapest one is 0.13 against 0.26 for the uh, Western Digital single hard disk, and then only, and then sorry, a 0.6 uh, dollar for the RAID configuration. Why? Because it's really, really expensive, and the difference in performance isn't so much. See, so you're not getting that much. It's really expensive. It's four times the price, and only around, uh, as we saw, only a, uh, you know a, a bit more in performance. Um, so now, uh, by far, the SSD is the best for performance. Um, now, when we look at the uh, uh, the GBs, the the amount of money you pay per GB, the HDD you pay 0 0.087 per GB, really cheap. And now the RAID 10, remember we have to use like two megabytes instead of one megabytes, so it's twice the space instead of single space for one thing. So you get instead of four terabytes, you get two. So the cost is doubled, 0.174. Oof, expensive, right? Not really, because the SSD, you're paying $240 for 128 GBs. That translates to $1.8 per GB. Hello, 90s. It's back in the 90s. So the prices is re the prices are really expensive. They're dropping right now. They're dropping a lot. But if you're looking for space, don't bother with the um with a raid configuration because it sorry with an ssd or a RAID 10 actually compared to an hdd because um it's just too expensive remember the maximum you can get space of a raid is the exact physical space you have on the uh, hard disk so if you have two hard disks in RAID 10 uh, RAID 0 you're gonna get uh, the the two hard disks worth so two tbs two tbs that's the maximum you can't have a RAID configuration that increases your um, space. So, by default, the best space solution is a single hard disk. And the worst space solution is an SSD. You never use it for storage unless you have some um, special usage for it. So now, if you take the average of the two, let's say you, you, you want this and this at the same time, 50-50 50, 50, 50 if you split it, uh, what's the best value? If you say 50% this, 50% this. I care just as much about space versus performance. Best value um, is the HDD followed by the uh, RAID configuration and dead last is the SSD. It's just further proof that the SSD is still really, 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 really expensive compared to just a traditional HDD. But if you're looking for performance, then it's really, 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 really much cheaper than having RAID 10, for example. Um, Maybe someday I'll put a RAID 0 uh, uh, comparison, but uh, yeah, so using SSD is the best for performance, the worst for space. And using um, HDD is the best for uh, space, the worst in performance. So now that uh, you've seen the numbers, uh, you can make a decision, I guess, on what you want. What I recommend, just use a, uh, an SSD for storing your operating system, and then use an HDD or a RAID configuration for storing your files. That's what I do. I love it. I absolutely love this um, uh, Crucial M4 uh, 128 GB. Long rant, 14 minutes and going. So um, let me end this video. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, just post them down there. Thanks.